Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Heavy Rain. Now let me just choose butterfly. A butterfly. A uh, wolf. A wolf's head. Crabs. Crab. A crab. Uh. Dead. Death. Death. I have the results of your MRI scans. Everything seems to be normal. There is no physical damage from the accident. However, I am worried about your psychological condition. I know it's not easy, but you've got to start over, Ethan. You're not responsible for what happened. It's my fault Jason is dead. He'd still be alive if I'd been looking out for him. It was an accident. Accidents happen every day. You can't blame yourself forever for your son's death. How is Sean? Uh. I know he's disappointed in me. I'm not the father I used to be. <laughs> he's a great kid, you know. He deserves better. And what about you, Ethan? What do you feel? I stopped living at the same time Jason did. When that car ran into us. Is there something else you wanted to tell me, Ethan? I sometimes have these blackouts times when I don't know what I'm doing. I recover consciousness sometime later, but I'm someplace else, and I have no idea how I got there. Do you think this could be related to the accident? You suffered a massive concussion and were in a coma for six months. We really don't know what effect a shock like that can have on the brain. That's the end of this session. Uh, we'll continue this conversation next week. Damn, it's probably paying like thousands and thousands for this 10 minute conversation. You were lucky, Ethan. It's very rare to survive such a traumatic accident. I don't exactly feel lucky, Doctor. Yeah. They just need your money, bro. They don't even care, I believe. What's the inches means? Like, is something the matter, Sean? No, I'm all right. Do you want to eat something? Aren't you gonna go play with the other kids? feel like it. I haven't been on a seesaw in a long time. What do you think? Yeah! Haha. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Dad, make me fly. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> He's laughing. I think I forgot to do something. No, Dad, you're not doing it right. You gotta push off at the right time. Oh no. How long I have to do this? <laughs> He's happy, so. <laughs> I think my microphone voice is really low. Okay. Is it going to sit again? Oh my god. Oh, I did not mean to do that. How did things go at school today? The teacher yelled at me for being late again. She's gonna send me home the next time it happens. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Next time, we'll really pull it together, okay? A boomerang? You know how to use it? No, not really. I can never make it come back. Can I give it a try? Let's go. Ooh. Did that in first try. Do you want to give it a try? I won't be able to do it. Oh, come on, let's try it together. Now, the main thing is to get the right position at the beginning. Now, you've got to throw it straight and a little to the right. Oops. Now, throw it! Gotta catch it. Catch it. Nice. I did it! I did it, Dad! Good job, Sean! See? That wasn't so hard. Ah. What are we gonna do now? There was a button that show tells you what you wanna do. Oh, there's a first person like this. I did not know that. You want to go play on the swing? I'll push you. Okay. Okay.
Wow. <laughs> How much of the parenting? <laughs> Imagine just he falls and dies. It will literally suicide this time. <laughs> Like rain's coming. I think we better go. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, sometimes I remember before. I mean, when Jason was still here. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, Sean. Me too. Who knows the way? You want snacks? I don't know if I have money. Oh. Come on, Dad. What are you doing? I'm coming. Oh my God, Sean is like really weird. Hey, Dad. Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. Tickets. They should be on the other side. Yeah. One, please. That's a dollar. It's already raining. What happened? What the fuck? Where am I? Dude is literally teleported. What? Sean! 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 What's going on, man? Sounds like he's crying at the same time. Oh no. Maybe I shouldn't say that. Did he die or something? I, I mean, how could he die? He teleported and the son is gone. And the backpack was literally was dead too. Damn. What's going on, man? 
Someone kidnapped him. Uh, this should be the reason. Like, what could happen? Someone just kidnapped him. I think. Wow, how did I forget the f uh, just the volume, bro? I think it's so quiet. I have to just fix it through the editing software. Bro, how long is it taking to load it? Do you think it's gonna take long? No, he should be finished soon. What are you doing, bro? Guy couldn't do it without this. Okay, I see. I think the people's gonna look different. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> I still like this. Nah, bro. Oh, my God. Lord. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. We have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we met this morning. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get him well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I guess. To be frank with you, I could have done without the FBI on this one, but the press... They're all over us. This origami killer case crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. <laughs> oh my god. No. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress. And fast. The press want a perpetrator. And we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. Well, I hope you're better at profiling than at tying knots. Oh, forget it. I'll manage. <laughs> That's right.
Oh, go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Oh no, losers club. Okay, let's go. The body of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand, and an orchid was placed on his chest. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence in the body. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes. Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Yeah, he has not made contact in any way, and we it's have to to help us understand his motives. Everything that we already know. Yeah. Where is our office now? I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Alright. Nice watch. Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. We've bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Sorry, I... I don't have any chance. No problem. Maybe next time round. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. What is my office now? The heck are you doing? Wow. This? This is my office? That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Wow. What a great place, huh? Okay, time to work. Okay. Take your glasses on, no? What are you doing? Oh, you need like an empty place. Alright. Lack of virtual reality.
Oh, never mind. I just let them put it in the middle. That's it. I hope you're not. I, I, I hope you're not gonna play games. Step one. Change the office. Ah, <laughs> really didn't like it. I think this is the right. No, I did not mean that. I mean, that's not bad. Oh, I did not expect it. Not. Let me see the other ones. Yeah, this is not it. This is not it. It's not bad, but like. Definitely not what I need. Nah, bro. It's not, not. It's not what I'm expecting, though. What's the last one's gonna be inside the fucking nuclear? Oh, this. This looks cool. This is good. All right, clues. The tracks. The killer's car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. The orchid is a common species. It can be found at any flower shop. What's going on, man? I'm trying to like put the stuff together, but it's not working. Just one origami store in town. All right. What do I need? Uh, files. Eight victims in the last three years. All boys, aged between nine and thirteen. Wow. No signs of violence. Wait. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. What? The Bodies horse. are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. Whoa. Wait, what's that mean? Are they targeting young young people? Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Over 3,500 people questioned. But 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. Ah, oh, shit. What about the other one? The 
killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geoprofiling any easier. Okay. No, 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 no. That's not it. Um. Oh, I didn't really need it. I'm done. Whoa. Hi, guys. But is that like side effect? Here we go again. I better go wash my face. I need to take some. I'm gonna faint if I resist. You are already resisting, bro. It's all right. I know I can make it. I know. I know what? I can make it. Where is it then? I don't know what's that. Is everything all right, sir? No one. No one must see. Oh, there's something wrong with this guy. Yo, he's here too. Yeah, uh, it's time for me to end this video. This is Lieutenant Blake, Mr. Marsh. Could you please tell him what happened? It, it was this afternoon. I went to the park with my son, Sean. We played together for a while, and then he wanted to go on the carousel, so I put him on one of the wooden horses, and when I turned back, Sean had disappeared. Exactly what time did you arrive at the park? Try to remember exactly, Mr. Mars. Every detail can be important. It must have been about... All right. Yeah. 5.30, I think. I'm not really sure. What was your son wearing when he disappeared? He was wearing a coat. Uh, brown? A brown coat. No, it was white, right? And a pair of pants. <coughs> Black pants. I was brown. How could he Sean was white. Have disappeared without you even noticing. Weren't you right by the carousel? I went for a short walk around the park just for a few minutes. When I got back. The carousel had stopped, and Sean wasn't there. You say you took your son to the park after school, but you didn't report him missing until 8.15. Why did it take you so long to contact the police? I searched the whole neighborhood for him. I, I thought he couldn't have gone far. Did Sean have any particular difficulties, Mr. Mars? Anything that might have caused him to run away? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. Everything okay at school? Any particular problems between you and your wife? Uh, my wife and I have been separated for the last six months. 
But Chan would not have gone up without telling his mother or me. All right. That's all the questions I have for now. You're free to go, Mr. Mars. We'll continue to look for Sean overnight. We'll contact you if we have any more questions. Do... Do you think the origami killer... Listen, your son's probably just run off and he'll turn up in a couple of hours. What if not? But what if it is the origami killer? Well, then we have about four days to find him alive. Oh my god, I cannot end the episode. Did they find something? No, nothing yet, but they're gonna keep looking through the night. Do they... do they think it's the origami killer? It, it, it's still too early to say... but it is a possibility. My God, bro. What happened, Ethan? How could you lose Sean like that? You should never have taken your eyes off him. I mean, for God's sake, how hard is it to keep your eye on a child in the park? Why did you leave him, Ethan? Why? Wasn't it enough losing Jason? No, don't say that. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant to say. Don't you think he misses too? <laughs> hug him. I'm hu hug her. Shit. <laughs> this is tough. <sighs> All right. I will end the episode here. Take care, guys, and I will see you guys in another episode. Peace out. Oh, yeah. Never mind. I can end it properly. It's so weird, bro. So, it's, it, I think it is origami killer. I'm like 75% sure. Alright. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care, and peace out.